Here we are, math day 75, and our new riddle for the day. <clears throat> Raining cats and frogs. That's not how the idiom goes. Raining cats and dogs. Dogs and animals used to live up in the thatch roofs, and when it rained, they literally would fall out of the roof, and it felt like it was raining them on you. This says raining cats and frogs. They say it's raining cats and dogs. Why not lizards, snakes, and frogs? Next time the weather's getting wet, forget the forecast. Call a vet. Can you count the dots you see? Try to add them cleverly. Group them in a special way. Make sure of, make sums of 10 this rainy day. All right. Ones, twos, ones, two, three, two, two, two. Oh, here's a group of five. Here's a group of five. Here's a group of three. Here's a group of two. That's five, two, one, two. So five, 10, 15, 20. That was a good clue. Patterns in Peru. An adventure in patterning by Cindy Nushwander, illustrated by Brian Langdo. Matt, called his twin sister, Bibi, did you have to wear that shirt to the museum? All those stripes are making me dizzy. Matt smiled. I think I look very South American, he said. The Zills family was in Peru. Matt and Bibi's parents were scientists who had come to help Professor Oswald Herrera inspect an ancient weaving at the Inca Museum. This is a man's tunic, said their father, Dr. Williams. Is. It's at least 500 years old, and it's finely woven with lots of unusual patterns, added their mother, Dr. Jillian Zill. It probably belonged to someone special. So look at all those really intricate patterns. Notice that here we have an AB pattern. Three stripes down, three stripes across. Three vertical, three horizontal. Three down, three across. Lots of ways of saying it, cross and down. And then look at those other really intricate patterns. Do you see any patterns with symmetry? <clears throat> Professor Herrera nodded eagerly. I think this tunic belonged to the secret messenger for the lost city of Kui. It was a hidden city known only to the emperor, his court, and this messenger. Many people have searched for Kiwi, but no one has ever found it. Maybe we can, said the twins. Roof, said their dog, Riley. Again, do you see patterns with symmetry in them? These are really dark. But I see llamas and different shaped mountains. Do I look like an ancient Incan? He asked. He clapped his hands and stomped his feet to stay warm. Clamp, clamp, stomp, stomp. Clamp, clamp, stomp, stomp. Matt said, Bibi, that clapping reminds me of something. Mom said this tunic has unusual patterns. Maybe the patterns are the secret way to find the lost city. You could be wearing the messenger's map. Then point me in the right direction, he said. Well, the first pattern shows llamas and plateaus. That's where we are now. The next one is a repeating pattern. It goes up and down like mountains. But what about these dots? On the line slanting up, there were four dots. On the line slanting down, there were two. Four, two, four, two, four, two. Again, an A-B pattern. But this... The mountains are slightly different sizes that the llamas are standing on. I wonder if that means something. <clears throat> Matt ignored his sister's question and rode up the mountain trail. Bibi and Riley filed, followed. They reached the top and started going down the other side. Bibi looked down the steep mountainside. This path is really narrow. Don't worry, said Matt to her own. We'll be, why? He tumbled off his 
Guanaco and over the edge of the trail, he grabbed a nearby tree root and held on. The part of his tunic, tu tunic tore and fluttered away. Uh-oh. There you okay? I guess so. We better walk down this part. That was a close call, said Dee Dee, and she looked at the tunic. I think the dots are a travel warning. Matt looked up. Use four guanaco feet when going up, but use your own two feet when going down. Patterns can be complicated, said Matt, but they never fail. You just have to figure them out. The twins rode up and walked down two more short, steep mountain paths. They stopped at the edge of a cliff. A flimsy rope bridge swayed before him. River rode below. It's not very far across, encouraged Bibi. Yeah, but it's a long way down, Matt said nervously. The pattern tells us where to walk, Bibi. See how every third line is X'd out? Just step over those ropes. The twins started to count. One, on, on, over, on, on, over. Don't look down. Just then, Riley stepped on an x dot rope. Oh, he howled as his front paws plunged through the unraveling braids. I'm definitely following the pattern, said Matt. Safe on the other side, the three explorers hiked a short distance into the jungle. Colorful parrots squawked to them. Look at the pattern on those birds, Matt said. He was starting to see patterns everywhere. A thick wall of vines hung before them. The twins were unsure where to go next. At that moment, Riley noticed something small and furry. Matt saw it too. Oh, it's a guinea pig. The tiny creature squeaked and fell over some leaves, and they chased after it. Bump! They ran into something behind the vines. Pulling away the plants, Matt came face to face with a long stone carving on a wall. Wow, he said, it's Super Inca Man! Oh, that's the symbol for Incan royalty, cried B.B. excitedly. She remembered seeing a statue like it in the Incan Museum. This must be the Lost City. Where's the entrance? He started to climb the wall, but then he put his foot on the carving and began, Yikes, he yelled. That explains the guy in the tunic doing cartwheels. What kind of pattern is that? It's one where a single picture turns around in a special order, like a combination lock. Exactly. The twins carefully turned the figure just as the tunic showed, and the heavy storm door opened slowly. Are we inside the Lost City? Not yet. They faced another high wall. It was covered with panels of animals. That reminds me of the last pattern on the tunics of BB. There are nine squares and each one has different animals in it. But some of it has been torn away. I'm sorry I ripped it. Don't worry. Patterns are predictable. If we can figure out the first part, we can figure out the rest. These foxes are cool, said Matt, tapping one of the pictures. Womp! A giant net closed quickly around Riley and lifted the air. Careful, Matt. This place is booby trap. Only touch the correct square. But what square is the right one? I don't see any pattern. B.B. was counting the animals in the first square. Three foxes, six llama, nine parrots. It's a growing pattern. Each square adds three more animals. She drew a T-chart in the dirt. The nine squares should have 27. They started counting the animals. There, 27 guinea pigs are in that square. From inside, the square, twins could hear, Quee, quee, quee! Sounds like something announcing the name of the city, said Bee Bee. They all climbed through. The view on the other side was breathtaking. The ruins of the entire city lay complete and undisturbed. Ben bent down and picked up the small striped creature. Even the guinea pigs have patterns. Cooey! they shouted. Patterns in Peru.